Curling now enters the Sports Weekend Spotlight. Mark, we were just talking about the fact that the clock is ticking down to the Paralympics. You were over there in Beijing not too long ago in a test event. The world's yep. there. Uh, take us through that journey because I know the team battled hard into the playoffs. We did. Um, it was the venue is actually spectacular. Um, it's really well set up. It's it's beautiful. What they've done to make a swimming pool into a <laughs> A curling uh, venue is amazing, so uh, really well done. Um, also, I feel like it was really good for us to be there and to get acquainted with the surroundings and the travel and, you know, some of the food and um, and just get familiar with the sites and the COVID protocols because, you know, that's our first uh, sort of bubble environment uh, that we've been in. So uh, really nice to get acquainted with that. It always sounds funny when somebody says how they turned the swimming pool into a curling ring because that's exactly what it was for the uh, Summer Olympic Games. Um, tell me about the expectations and what you're looking to accomplish this week during training camp when you can all get together. Well, um, you know, we had a fifth place finish at Worlds, which uh, we lost in the quarters. And considering uh, how little ice time and how little time we had together, um, before the event, we felt like we we had accomplished a lot of things, even in that fifth place finish. Not ideal, but um, so we're, we're really going to use that as a stepping stone um, leading into uh, into the games. And you know, being part of this is super cool. And then having a chance to be together and train uh, here after is great. So we'll you know we'll work on some technical stuff and and uh, some things that came up when we uh, viewed game tape. And so we'll be, we'll be ready to go when we get to the games. Always work to be done. Always work to be done. I know we're still awaiting the official team announcement, Mark, but can you tell us who's on the team uh, <laughs> potentially, or at least who's here uh, together this week? And then we can use our imaginations yeah. on who's gonna be there um, in uh, Beijing. The team looks uh, really good. And, you know, a lot of similarities to our world championship last year. Um, and we've also got a new upcoming um, uh, event happening in wheelchair curling. It's the mixed doubles. Mm. And so we've got our mixed doubles curlers here with us, too, which is so we can all train together and works out really well for all of us. Mark, for those who don't know, tell us your path into wheelchair curling, because I know down at my home in Nova Scotia, they're always looking for new people to um, get involved and join the sport. Yeah, uh, so I'll, I'll give you the quick Coles Notes version of my story. So I was involved in a helicopter accident in, in February of 2007, and I now live my life with quadriplegia. and. Uh, I'd made a promise to myself in the hospital that I didn't want to play any sports that I had played able-bodied because I didn't want to compare my old abilities to my new ones because mm. I had curled in a beer league with uh, <laughs> with some buddies. And I'm glad I tried wheelchair curling because uh, I'm way better sitting down than I was standing up. Um, I definitely was not a, a great curler. But um, I uh, I was invited to to try wheelchair curling by, by some fellow uh, athletes. And uh, eventually I said yes and gave it a try. And as soon as I, I realized that I could, I had the strength to get the rock down the ice because it's daunting at first. And uh, I was hooked. And so we're, we're always looking for, for more athletes, uh, either retired from other sports or maybe someone that's newly, newly injured that wants to give it a try where we're happy to, uh, to have new athletes. To play the beautiful game. Yeah, Mark, you can't see it on our monitor right now, but uh, they're showing the team after the bronze medal win in Pyeongchang. And of course we were all there yeah. together and that is a career highlight for me. Uh, what did it mean to you? Because it really was remarkable the way you came back after that semifinal and found a way to get on the podium. Yeah, it was heartbreaking uh, to lose that semi like we, Wheelchair curling in Canada, we've won gold uh, since the, the beginning of, of uh, the Paralympics with wheelchair curling. And so, you know, I felt that pressure of not coming home with the gold medal. And um, but we, we were able to regroup and um, and it's a really special group of people. And, you know, we had each other's backs and supported each other 
through the win and we had a an excellent group of, of family and friends there cheering us on so and you know we always feel the cheers from family and friends at home which we're going to need this time yeah you'll be feeling them across the pacific ocean yeah. nice of you to join us really appreciate it